if you're anything like me, you are saying, what is the difference between near, close to, next to? Mm, I can't even explain it. So here's the thing. I had to go do my research. And even within my research, I found that I was still wrong. And I asked my daughter, she's 13. I said, hey, what's the difference between near and close to? And I was thinking, hey, I got this. I know this. And she said, aren't they synonyms? So, no, they're not. And after I realized that I was wrong, I had to tell her that, hey, you're right. They are synonyms. I went to the dictionary to solve this mystery. Near and close to are synonymous. Now, here's the thing. When you want to talk about close to and near, this is what it looks like, okay? She is standing close to the car. Or you can say she is standing near the car. Now, as you can see, the, space, the physical distance between this young girl and that car is not very, it's not very far. <laughs> I'm feeling oh, that rhymed. Feeling pretty great about myself, but let's stay focused. You cannot touch when you are close to something. You cannot touch that object. So this is how I would use this in a sentence, okay? Let's go to the next one. Next to, this guy is standing next to the podium. If I'm standing next to something, I can actually put my arm on it while I'm there. So the next time you get confused about near and close to, remember they're synonymous. And then for the word next to, you're right there beside it. The physical distance is zero. You can touch it, okay? Now, I have cleared that up for you guys. Go and use these in a conversation. Write them in sentences. And check out dictionary.com if you think that there are a difference between near and close to. Look at the ways that they are used in the part of parts of speech, such as the adjective, uh, for verbs, for adverbs, you will find that you will find near and close to on the same list. They can be used interchangeably. All right, guys, I have solved this investigation for now. I will see you guys in the next video. My name is Ladoris, and I'm here to help you speak English clearly and be confident in what you're saying in English, whether that's at work or in public. I'll see you guys in the next video. Choose, chow, eat. Adios.